Hollywood 2004 and the year's big blockbuster, The Day After Tomorrow, throws us into a frightening fictional world where climate change has upended ocean currents, plunging global temperatures into chaos. Fast forward to today, and scientists now fear that devastating ocean current collapse could hit within two years. What about the North Atlantic current? What about it? The current has changed. Are you suggesting these weather anomalies are going to continue? Not just continue, get worse. I think we're on the verge of a major climate shift. Tornadoes. Tidal waves. Superstorms. It's going to get really, really bad. You're not going to be able to survive it. If Hollywood's taught us anything, it's the changes in Atlantic Ocean currents are a really, really big deal. Now, research out of Copenhagen suggests it could be happening. Research has suggested that melting of the ice on Greenland might slow down the AMOC over the coming decades and century. A recent paper that just came out has suggested that this slowdown might happen much sooner. The Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, is like a complex deep sea conveyor belt, transporting warm, salty water from the tropics to the North Atlantic and sending colder water south along the ocean floor. The current is one of our most vulnerable tipping points when it comes to climate change, meaning if it were to stop abruptly and irreversibly, we could be looking at a Dennis Quaid level catastrophe. Evacuate everyone south of that line. What about the people in the north? I'm afraid it's too late for them. We're still a long way from that. The, perhaps the biggest problem scientifically with the day after tomorrow is the rate at which everything got cold. So even if the AMOC were to completely stop tomorrow, we wouldn't expect to see snow blanketing Europe and North America. What we'll expect to see is the climate of North America and Europe changing drastically. Researchers warning at the current rate of rising global temperatures and melting ice caps, the AMOC could collapse as soon as 2025, but no later than 2095. It's really hard to know exactly how fast this might happen or how soon it might start. What we do know is that a warming world is consistent with the AMOC slowing down or shutting down. The new analysis is at odds with the UN climate body's advice that the AMOC isn't likely to fully collapse this century. But most scientists agree the current is becoming increasingly erratic and any signs of instability a cause for concern. Might well be easy to look at results like this and to, to feel defeatist, that there's nothing we can do. We can, everything helps. The more we do and the faster we do it, the better the future will be. For years, we operated under the belief that we could continue consuming our planet's natural resources without consequence. We were wrong. Dennis Quaid to save us. I mean, it's a I good thing so. 2025 isn't too far away, right? Yeah. 2025? Yeah. Wait, what year yeah. is it this year? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 2022. It's very, it's alarmingly oh, close. It's alarmingly close. <laughs> Hang on. But, but, this, <laughs> but this has happened. Science says this has happened 12,000 years ago when rapid glacier melt actually shut down um, the AMOC and uh, temperatures within Europe were fluctuating between 10 and 15 degrees. So, scary stuff. Oh, right. So, so like scary. an ice age situation. Mm. Yeah, I think it's 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 not a great sign when the the scientist in your package is saying, well, it won't quite be like a Hollywood disaster. Film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be bad. It'll yeah. be bad, but it won't look like that. Well, I mean, we, need, that's... we need to start working where we're going to live. And I was trying to work out today what the best country is to move to to yeah. deal with all of this. And I, I think New Zealand, maybe. What, why New Zealand? Well, I think it's already a bit cold. It's far away. People don't go there that much. Far away. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're making a different point about where you want to live now. Well, no, but I think Europe seems like it's off the table. Yeah. yeah I yeah, think yeah. it comes up every time there's a climate, you know, chat like this. It's Tasmania is the place that yeah. you... Yeah. But, yeah, it should go. Not necessarily yeah. where well, you... Well, I was down there for Dark Mofo and had a great time. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>